Right. So this question refers to the evaporative light scattering detector, the ELSD, which has an identical scope of detection. Uh, ELSD is also intended to give a response for every component in the effluent except for the mobile phase. It also uses volatility to discriminate between solvent and analyte. We know that vaccine makers chose the CAD over the ELSD because the CAD has more sensitive detection. Um, Merck just published a paper in electrophoresis, really just seen the rough manuscript appear on their website on the analysis of lipid nanoparticles, where they say they tried both CAD and ELSD, but for this application, the CAD was six times more sensitive. So really the CAD is more sensitive and it is also not dependent on particle material characteristics like the ELSD is. So the signal of the ELSD depends on the structure of the material in the particle. So it depends on refractive index of the material and light absorption <laughs> because the aerosol measurement technique is based on the interaction of light and matter. So they use that interaction to generate the electrical signal that makes the peak. Um, the signal of the CAD, on the other hand, depends on particle size, which is independent of particle material. And we control that by good detector design, advanced nebulizer technology, such as removing large droplets by slamming them into an impactor. But to answer the question, the CAD is used in vaccine labs instead of ELSD because of sensitivity.